Hello and welcome to the finale of Deltarune. I'm so hyped. Uh, the reason why I'm not at the throne at the moment is because I discovered something with this elevator. I was kind of exploring, trying to see any, see if I missed anything, and I found this. And I have no clue what it is, so I'm curious. Big long staircase. This music. What? It's like a demented carnival. Um. Boo hoo! Boo hoo! Wee hee hee! So lonely, lonely I be. But lo, three visitors standing inside. Who are you, few? Nice to meet you. I'm Rousey. This is Chris, and. So, what the heck are you doing in there? I am innocent, innocent, I just wanted to play a game, game! But the boring kings found such fun to be a trouble. As punishment they craved to imprison my body. But I'm fast, fast, clever, clever. They lost the chase and locked up their entire race. Whoa, what? Building a prison around the whole world. Now I'm the only free one. What? Huh? Free? But you're clearly the one behind bars. That's what I'm thinking. Things don't seem such for here, Lightners. Or, I think I read that wrong. I don't know. Well, sounds like you don't need any help then. That is unso. I grow lonely in my little freedom. So shall you play a game with me? Me? I'll show you what it means to be free. This guy is creeping me out. Um... Well, I saved, so... I'll play a game. I'm curious. Find the key and I'll let you be free. Free! The key is hidden from the eyes. The old shopkeeper knows a secret. What? Well... I think it has to do with that one shopkeeper with the button eye, maybe? I mean, I know a way out of the castle now. I looked it up because I wanted to go back and get to things that I missed, so I shall do that soon. Find the key and I'll let you be free. Free! Okay. That's really interesting. I'm glad I noticed that. I'm glad I went back to the elevator and saw that. Okay, I, th I found the secret. Should have been obvious, but I didn't look far enough. I gotta deal with this guy again, don't I? Okay, let's see what's in here. You open the treasure chest and said it was forty dark dollars. Okay, yeah, I forgot one of them contained money. Another thing contained contains either a healing item or something else. I don't know how I didn't notice this one. You open the treasure chest and said it was a revive mint. I remember that. So something about a mint min being able to revive you. Hey, you two didn't mess up my- wait. Hey, you two didn't mess with my hideout, did you? But I wonder if hideout might be overselling it a bit? Nah, I took a nap in there, so it's basically my house now. <laughs> okay then. Find the key and I'll let you be free, free- yeah, I got the- Thing. I just... That may have to be something for a different time, maybe off-camera or something, because right now I kind of just want to get this... Uh, I'm gonna get this final boss over with and stuff, because I want to... I want to... Because I want to see the finale. Okay, people. I'm ready. Whew. I was about to say, we should see Lancer soon. Hey, there's Lancer. Ooh. He looks cool. Father. Lancer, my son. Have you dispatched the Lightners as I commanded? Okay, that probably isn't really my ad score voice, but I'm just kind of going with the flow. No, but I did even better. 
It turns out we don't actually have to fight them. They said they could just talk to you and... They're alive? Yeah, and I think you'll like them a lot. They're Susie, she's very purple and strong, and... Where are they now? Um... Hey, they're right here. Hey. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Lancer. Lancer, my son. He yes, father. Do you remember what I told you? D don't get too attached. You have failed. They have poisoned you with their sentimentality. Free yourself, Lancer. They are not for you. Their only goal is to destroy our glorious fountain. They are scum. No, they aren't. You tell them, Lancer. You're our buddy. Oh. Oh, no. What did you say? Oh. Let him go. Ha 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 ha. You want me to let him go? Then how about this? I'll drop him off the edge and let- What the heck kind of a father is this? Oh my word. I'll drop him off the edge and let him splatter. Unless you all kneel and learn your place. What will it be, Lightners? I am speechless right now. <laughs> Not that I expected this guy to be anything like Asgore, but whoa. Don't listen to him, Susie. He'll... he'll... <laughs> now watch, Lancer. See what happens when you befriend Lightners. Oh yeah, go boy! What the... You... You traitor, come back here! Alright, enough already. Who the heck do you think you are? You tell him. <laughs> to my people, I am a hero. To you... Oh. I am the bad guy. <laughs> well, we know where Lancer gets that from. What the heck is he pulling out of his stomach? Oh, wow. Oh, whoa. <laughs> hmm? I was about to say, like, I thought the rest was complete silence. Alright. Yes, I've listened to this song a bunch of times. It's definitely one of my favorites in the soundtrack. Woo. I have a remix made with it that I plan to post sometime after this. <laughs> okay, King Block the Way. Should I check him? I'm kind of curious. I'm gonna check him. Uh, just work on defending yourself, buddy. Abandoned by the Lightners, his heart became cracked with hatred. So he's just King? Okay. Just King? He doesn't have an actual name? He cannot be reasoned with, but don't give up. How dare you come here, Lightners? <laughs> I love this song. The battlefield is rumbling. King, I... I'll try with Susie and then with Ralsei. Susie tried to reason with the king. Alright, listen up. Lancer's my friend. So if we can get by without hurting you, then... If I perish, so be it! Show my son the monster you really are. Alright, you wanna see what I can do, huh? Susie's will is changing. Talk became Red Buster. What? What does that mean? You that left us in the shadow stripped of meaning. Whoa. What just... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my freaking goodness. That was awesome and scary at the same time. Uh... Red damage. But don't we not want to hurt... I'm gonna try this first just to see what that does. Even though I have a feeling that that will work. But I'm just curious. Ralsei tried to reason with the king. You might not realize it, but this is a world where you don't have to fight. I know if we try, we can all find another way. 
have such simple-minded platitudes. A shame you will not live to realize your naivety. Now perish with the pathetic lightners you worship. Sorry, my friends and I aren't going anywhere. Rousey's will is changing. Talk became dual heal. Oh, so that probably means he can heal two people. You dare return to torment us again? Once again? This will do the chain attack. Kinda reminds me of Gaster Blasters. <laughs> um, time to figure out what Red Buster does. Well, yeah, I don't need to be healed, surprisingly enough. Defend. Your soul shined its power on Susie. Ooh, her axe is flaming. Susie used red, whoa. But I thought we didn't want to hurt him. <laughs> I'm confused. Uh, well, it kind of warms my heart to know that genocide, that if you try genocide and pacifist, it all goes to the same outcome, so... I don't know. <laughs> Be gone. We have frown, frown. We have found fresh purpose. Uh, 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 oh my goodness. Uh, at least it's getting my TP up. Whew. King's mouth give give a berserk smile. Mouths. Two mouths. Okay. <laughs> this is pretty cool. <laughs> um, I don't need to do dual heal, because only one person got hurt. Let's just keep doing that, I guess. King's mouth give a berserk smile. Oh, okay, it gets rid of TP, I guess. Oh, whoa, no, don't fight him. Defend. Your soul shined its power on Susie. Susie used Red Buster. Bleh. <laughs> there was other tongue sticking out. For the knight has appeared. So is this guy the knight? Because he's like the king, and. I don't know. <laughs> I hate this one. <laughs> it's like the sound effect, though. Wee! <laughs> King's mouths babble indecipherably. That's kind of creepy. Oh, I don't have enough TP. Um, not sure what to do then. Just talk. You tried to reason with the king. Silent Lightbringer, your very existence goes against our own. By the knight's will, I shall shatter your heart to pieces. Your will is your will is changing. Talk became courage. Huh. The knight that pulls the fountains from the earth. Uh, it's red now. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, what the heck? Woohoo. I gotta admit these attacks are pretty darn cool. Let's see. Oh, it's defense boost. Well, let's just see what that does. I can't really tell which one to focus on. You encourage the party, the party's defense raised for this turn. Holy fountains, whose shadows are creating a new world. Our world. Hey. Oh my goodness. Whew. I... Hmm. don't know what I'm doing, I'm just kind of guessing. Your soul shined its power on Susie. Susie, you red buster, bleh. Ha ha ha, do you see our new purpose? Ah. My goodness. I know what I'm gonna do next. Oh gosh. Uh, that's never happened to me before. Um, defend yourself. Uh, oh yeah, I can't do the act with Chris. I magic. Heal. Okay, good. Soon this world will be blanketed in darkness. So I'm sure the. So I guess the only way then that you can get a game over is if all players are down. Soon the world, this world will shall be blanketed by darkness. In darkness. <clears throat> and darkness shall rule it. Yeah, I keep doing this attack. I can handle this. Oh, I don't have enough TP. Oh, come on! Um, 
Acarage Dab. I don't feel like eating an item. <laughs> I feel like I have to act more defend. You encourage the party to party's defense race for this turn. Then you may see what it is like to live in despair. I wonder if this is one of those battles where like, you have to wait it out. And just keep letting him talk? I don't know. <laughs> I hate this. Oh my goodness. Good heavens. Oh gosh. <sighs> wow. <laughs> Chris is not doing well at all and so is Rousey. Um... Susie's doing pretty good. Defend yourself, Susie. Hmm. This is not going well. <laughs> now enough talk. Fall before the chain of justice. <sighs> Please stop doing this! What? Oh gosh, oh gosh, this is- oh wow. This is a lot harder than I thought. Uh, <laughs> this is really not going well. Uh, oh gosh, only Susie. This is really not going well. You're quite strong, aren't you? I might actually fail. Oh gosh. Well... Welcome to my first game over, people. Oh, whoa. It appears you have reached an end. Will you try again? That's kind of creepy. Yes. Then the future is in your hands. Okay, Gaster. <laughs> yeah, I'll just cut off to where I left off. Thank you. Oh, you're quite strong, aren't you? Oh yeah, this is where I left off. Oh gosh. <sighs> this is... this is tough. <laughs> uh, at this point, I don't know. I'm, I'm just gonna keep doing Red Buster, I guess. And... I guess we're gonna do that one thing where we just... Maybe we have to keep hitting him to make him tired. You know, that would make sense. If I keep fighting you like this, then... Then what? I hate this. Whew. Then what? Oh, well, let's just... Defend, defend. It seems that... Oh, this is my least favorite attack. Uh, oh, dual heal. Defend. Maybe I should have fought him. Oh well. My knight, I shall not fail you. Okay, so you aren't the knight. You like worship the knight or something? I don't know. <laughs> oh, what? Enough is enough. Okay. I see. I see that I cannot defeat you. I have grown exhausted from our long battle. Okay. <laughs> Lightner's eye. Perhaps I have been too cruel. The truth is, I was not always this way. <clears throat> there once was a time where Darkner's and Lightner's lived in harmony. A time where darkeners could fulfill their purpose in peace. It would be a lie to say that I, too, do not yearn for those days. Perhaps. Perhaps you young ones are right. Please, let us put away our weapons. I... St I... I don't know. I still don't entirely trust this guy, but... Because I feel like this is just... Like, all of a sudden, but <laughs> I don't know. There must be a peaceful solution to all this. Well, let's hope he's not pulling our leg. Uh, uh, Come now, Susie. Uh, I'm glad you're starting to realize, Mr. King. Uh, None of us really want to fight. Uh, if you can just tell us about your worries... 
I'm sure we can all be friends, Mr. King. Y yes. Friends. That sounds lovely. <coughs> My apologies. I am I am not used to fighting like that. My body is getting weak. Uh, oh, don't, don't say another word. Give him a hug, Rousey. Or, or, oh, the healing. There, you should be all healed up. How do you feel? He just dies. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's see. That mother... I knew it. I knew I couldn't trust him. <sighs> Freaking. <laughs> Never better. That little you, you. Did I say you could get up? Yeah, you defend your buddy, Chris. Oh, spare me the heroics. Whoa, sliding. <laughs> that little walk. You, you're the leader, aren't you? So, what's your plan? To laugh as you cast us all back into obscurity. You can't even say. Oh wow, deja vu. Young one. Let me tell you a secret. Why is this a suddenly a throwback to when Susie first bullied me? Quiet people took me off. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> okay. Quiet people took me off. <laughs> yeah, you tell them, Susie. That's my life. Whoa. Her face is different. I like it. Hey. Get away from my... Friend. I'm her friend. Yay! <laughs> or what? You'll kill me? Nah. So what's your plan then? To talk me to death? You stupid, stupid lightener. You honestly think you have any way to convince me not to kill you? Mm. Nah. I really like that new face. You can actually see her eyes. Like, oh. Mm. But they might. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Surf in the crowd. <laughs> Lancer, everyone, what is the meaning of this? Sorry, Dad, but <laughs> sorry, <clears throat> sorry, Dad, but you're being overthrown. When I told everyone you were fighting the Lightners, everyone remembered how kind they were. Wait, so what if you did a genocide run? Like, I don't know. It's something I figure out for myself. But oh well. They decided they'd rather have a king that accepts them. Me! Oh. <laughs> now I'm the dad. <laughs> you idiots, the lightners are your enemies. Fools, I'll kill you. I'll kill all of you. Yikes, I think someone needs a timeout. Go to your room, dad. <laughs> Go to your room, dad. No. You yeah, alright, Chris? Oh, now we can actually see her eyes in their sprite. That's so cool. Chris, Susie. Oh, you're alright. Yeah. It'll take more than that to take us down. Chris, Susie, I, I'm sorry. Because I healed the king, we almost... We almost... Susie, you were right. I... I was foolish to think we could act so soft to everyone. This isn't a world where kindness always wins, is it? Eh, it's complicated. Yeah, sometimes there's people you just gotta fight. But if you never let your guard down, then you might just hurt someone you care about. 
<clears throat> oh, Susie, he's blushing. You're beginning to sound like a real hero. Eh, don't get used to it. Then I... I suppose you, you and Chris should return home now. Yeah, I... I guess that's right, huh? Well, uh... See ya. Well, it can't be the end. We got a sheet of fucking good boy. I really like your new look, Susie. You look all better without your hair covering your eyes. Hey, Chris. W wait a second. Um, I... Look. I know you want to give a real goodbye to everyone, right? I mean, I'm all for leaving right away, but... You know, we could go back a sec if you wanted. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I did feel like that goodbye was kind of abrupt. So it's kind of like an Undertale thing where before you go to the surface, you gotta say goodbye to all your wonderful friends. <sighs> Does that mean I have to go all the way back and talk to every single person? <laughs> like, I kind of just want to wanna go back home because I know there's a lot of stuff waiting there. Well, then what are we waiting for? Let's head back. Okay, that scared me for a moment. When she said let's head back, I thought she meant let's head back home. We gotta talk to... Oh, this song. Yeah, it's kind of like reunited. People. Okay, well. Chris, Susie, you came back? Um, well, Chris just wanted to say bye, you know? Oh, actually, everyone here wanted to say goodbye, too. Please let me know when you leave, all right? Yeah, yeah, we'll try not to skip you. <laughs> huh. So it was like everybody here? Yes! I knew he'd be back! Uh. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna head back all the way and stuff. I'm sure other people in other Let's Plays will do that, but I kinda just wanna get back and just see what awaits me there. Wonderful work, mine, Amagos. Thou hast toppled the tyrant, freest our creeds. Truly, of history shall not forget the tale of Rules Card and the Three Heroes. Okay. What about the part where he tried to kill us? Ah, an interesting historical theory, is it not? Nonetheless, the evidence precluded such a thing. What evidence? I shall give it thou a plate of worms for thou silence. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> you'll, you'll literally eat anything, won't you? Mr. Society? You did it! You ousted the rotten tyrant! I'll happily accept the bounty of credit for my contributions. Unless the king reappears, in which case I did nothing. Okay. <laughs> Here's that nostril eyeball guy. Darn, horsey, you, you've you done us a big help. Now all in us pe- all of- This guy talks confusing. Now all in all those pieces can live in pieces. Okay. Boy, my nostrils can't thank you enough. <laughs> Here's Bat Wow. Wait, another Bat Wow, what the heck? Bright Bork. You're absolutely amazing. I thank you. Honest, honestly, we owe you. Okay. Best. You're the best. Well, thank you. Thank you. I could go back to being a coat hanger now. By the by, I asked I asked Sham. So it was Sham, right? Yeah, I asked Sham to come here, but there wasn't any interest. Well, screw him then. He is kind of odd. <laughs> Even a little ball can say something like thank you. You're so adorable. What you have to say. Way to go, kids. Now we can go back to making the puzzles we love. And thanks to your donation, I could buy a new hat and some shaving cream. <laughs> got nothing left to teach you now. Life's got new tutorial, so try your best. That's a good thing. Alright. Fluffy goat boy. Chris, Susie, are you leaving? Nah, we have to talk to Lancer first. Oh! How could I forget him? Oh my gosh, I feel like such an idiot. I forgot freaking Lancer. <laughs> I am ashamed of myself right now. Bad Sarah. <laughs> oh 
Wow. Okay. Thank you. I am so glad this game reminded me, because I totally forgot about him. Oh, more people. Okay, yeah. I knew you could do it. Though I was your enemy, I was cheering for you. That's how much I disliked my job. Yeah, I can imagine. Clover, the future looks sweet, like a pile of bees puke. Which is honey, I think. A kingdom with so much hope! Hope you didn't screw it up. That means thank you. Come to our next B-Day, too. We'll have one soon, if that's possible. Kathy looked at you proudly. Kiss. <laughs> What's going on? I slept through everything. <laughs> oh, people. Maybe <laughs> Lance is on the throne. There's the top chef. I... Hey, you know what? I never did end up using that cake. I, in fact, I didn't end up using a lot of things that I told myself I was going to use. I'm going to talk to this guy. Mamma mia! Mamma mia! What a celebration! This calls for a cake! And this time I'll make it out of metal so animals can't eat it! Well, are you going to be able to eat it then? <laughs> okay, so I can't give him his cake back now. What a chicken dude! Is he blocking the way? He's blocking the way. <laughs> Because you rescued it, it grew to respect you. Well, actually, it might- it maybe it shrunk to respect you. <laughs> I'll be honest, at first we weren't sure who to make our new king. I mean, Lancer has always been a bit of a pain. But after seeing how nice he treats you guys, I think he'll be fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll save you for last, buddy. What ho, what about us? Aren't we going to be restored as kings? Ah, uh, my treasure is unharmed? Carry on, then. <laughs> Animals! Us animals decided it's okay if the kings stay in cages with as well, but they'll have to put on animal ears and noses. <laughs> okay. Lancer! Susie! Blue person whose name I neglected to loin all along! <laughs> I thought you were going home ways. We were, but Chris wanted to say bye, you know? Oh, really? Ho ho ho! That's funny! I thought you wanted to say bye because we're friends! Huh? I mean... I did not want to. I didn't not want to. Um, so you're the king now, huh? Yes, and I'm changing some big rules. First, lightners are now legal. Second, prison is now only for dads. <laughs> I love you. Sounds like some pretty good changes. Hey, your dad was uh, protecting the fountain, right? <clears throat> is it going to be okay if we mess with it? I have no idea. But it's you guys, so I trust you. If something bad happens, we'll fix it out. Yeah, guess we'll just see, I guess. Oh, uh, well, see you later. Come back soon. There's always room in town for a couple of clowns. Ha! Always had to go back to that nickname. Anything else? You should tell your prince I say goodbye as well. Is he leaving? No, he's just a sweet little peach. <laughs> of course. I'm gonna miss you, Lancer. You were my first new favorite character. And then I started to like Susie a lot more. And of course I like Rousey, he's sweet. And then this guy became like my new favorite character last episode. Gosh, I love him. Alright, we got to see Lancer. Chris? Susie, are you leaving? Heck if I know, I'm just following Chris. I guess we'll just walk to the right if we are. Okay, I was about to say, he has to say something else. Susie, Chris, are you going to leave? Um, I... I, I just wanted to say... I, is he crying? The poor little baby? Whoa, wait a minute. I... <laughs> Hold on, it's like his voice is muffled. I, I really enjoyed meeting you too. And... Hey, can you stop mumbling into your hat for a sec? Can barely hear you, dude. Uh-huh, I'm oh, sorry. Whoa! What the... It's... Uh... He's... I thought his fur was black? Apparently not? I did not expect that. <laughs> Well, Susie looks shocked. Well, 
but that, that's kind of appropriate. I did not expect him to look like that. Um, Chris, Susie, I... I hope I can see you again soon. It's like Asriel, except he has horns and and glasses, and it's cute. It's honestly really cute. Uh, Next time I'll make you lots of yummy cakes, all right? Well, you're not going to make us cake now. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> it's, it's appropriate. Uh, yeah, sure, dude. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, maybe Susie thinks he looks cute. <laughs> oh, let's go, Chris. Aw, oh, man. I'm gonna talk to him again. So that's what Rousey really looks like. Can I go back? Hey, Chris, I know you want to stay, but we gotta go. Fine. Wow. That was just... I still did not expect that. Whoa, it's like the barrier. That's really cool. Is this the fountain? What else would it be? Don't know how, but it feels like we stumbled into something really important, didn't we? Well, there's no time to think about that now. Right now, it's time to go home. Right, Chris? Yep. As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if your very soul was glowing. Pretty. Ooh. This looks so cool. Yeah, yeah. What happened? I can't see anything. <laughs> hey, watch it! What the heck? Oh, is this the closet? Huh? <clears throat> it feels so weird seeing them in the normal sprites now. The unused classroom? How do we get here? Hey, Chris. What... What just happened? Like, that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? Nope. A anyway, as I was saying, let's just tell Alphys we couldn't find any chalk. <laughs> if the school day isn't over, that is. It's a light switch, but I'm not at the light switch. I'm at the chessboard. <laughs> it's a checkerboard. There are some pawns strewed in it. Strewn in it. Playing cards spill out of a deck in the closet. It's a light switch. It's a worn down stuffed animal. The door is locked. Huh. It's a yellow, poorly drawn picture of a green turtle. It's signed Alvin. Okay. I'm gonna get out. I wonder, I wonder if school is already over. That'd be funny. Man, the sun's already setting. <laughs> Everyone else must have gone home by now. I guess Alphas will know better than ask us next time, huh? <laughs> yep. I'm so glad we're friends now. Well, guess we should go. See you later, I guess. Chris. Aww. Let's go back there tomorrow. Alright? So... Okay, so you can just go there whenever you want? Can only us go through the closet and be able to go there like nobody else can? I don't know, so many questions, but I won't question too much for now. Hmm. The door is locked. The door is locked. 
Didn't there? There, never mind. I'm thinking of something else. Okay, so then it just takes us back there. Okay, that's pretty odd. Yeah, ran the water fountain. It was lukewarm. Ew. Oh, this is the baby classroom. What? <laughs> I thought it'd be locked. Some kind of primitive sculpture. Who knows what it represents? The throne of the gods. <laughs> Kids books. Some of them used to be yours. Ooh. It's a primitive drawing of your mom. Oh, oh, that says Mrs. Toriel. I thought that said Mrs. Ferris. Oh, wow. I cannot read. It's computer. It's just a wallpaper as you and your brother dressed up for Halloween eight years ago. Wow. That's a long time. Apple. Some kind of teacher food. <laughs> it's a poster of several basic shapes. Circle, oval, square. Hyper dodecahedron. Oh, wow. Okay. Toriel, that's a bit advanced. Yeah. That's a bit advanced. So Toriel's an elementary school teacher? That's so cute! Hey, get out of there, bub. Locker, it's locked. Locker, it's locked. Lock- Wait, what? It's your locker. It's empty. Why is my locker next to the baby classroom? I saw the- But I saw one that said it's your brother's locker, I thought. This used to be your brother's locker. Okay. Do you like- Breathing, moving fast, with or without legs, but usually with legs. Join the cross-country team with Jockington and Noel. Okay. Are you, oh yeah, the city Hawkins dance, that was funny. Oh, it's my classroom. Okay, I'm pretty sure none of this is new, so I guess I'll just leave. Ring, ring. I forgot I had a cell phone. <laughs> it's just I kind of avoided it after that creepy sound effect. C chris whatever, ha whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. You had your poor mother worried sick. Chris, I am afraid I'm going to have to punish you. Huh? A friend? You were spending time with... a friend? Chris... I will make an exception this time. Maybe Chris doesn't have a lot of friends. After all, like, I remember seeing the bedroom in the beginning of the game, and it seemed like her brother, who is Azrael apparently, is, like, more popular or whatever than... You can continue your adventures a little longer, but when you return home, you are, have to, you are going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. Okay, goat mommy. Well, I already... Looked at everything I could, so. So this is when I can explore the town. I knew I'd be able to have a chance to do that. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my goodness. I've been looking forward to this. Library! Oh, hi, Jockington. I think that's Jockington. Teme! Gotta go to college, so Tem's to be hard. She's reading a comic full of hot demon guys. <laughs> Whoa there, Temmy. <laughs> Didn't know you liked reading that stuff. There's an anime review. Read it. Oh, oh gosh, it's, it's about, is it about Mew Mew Kiss a Cutie 2 or something? <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> yes. Teen's Corner, monthly toon review. Mew Mew Kiss a Cutie 2. Wow, I just keep calling everything. This reviewer had Mew Mew 2 as her first exposure to the series, and let her tell you it makes Mew Mew 1 look like a dumpster with sparkly cat ears. With a darker storyline and more mature themes, the second one treats the viewer like a real adult, instead of like an animal that will instead of like an animal that will die if it goes 10 seconds without seeing a beach ball. Not to mention Mew Mew's character in the first one is more stale than the ramen I eat at home by myself with the lights off. Teens and older which should check out this dark masterpiece. Signed, The Anonymous Yellow Lizard. Okay. <laughs> um. I think I'm coming to the conclusion that this is not from the actual Undertale, but instead it's like an its own alternate universe of Undertale. That's what I'm kind of getting from this. Like in this 
alternate universe, I guess Frisk doesn't exist and it's me, Chris, instead. I don't know, that's what I'm getting from this and the whole thing with Azrael and all that. I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should really read them. <laughs> yeah, he's blocking the way. <laughs> You look through the window to the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working at a computer. Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. It's Toby Fox. I don't know why I was talking like that, but it's Toby Fox. Please remember my name. Please, I wrote a book to help you remember. By Hot's Fiery Guy. Heat's Flamesman. <laughs> it's Hot's Fiery Guy instead of Pete's Flamesman. Oh my gosh, yes, this is like an alternate universe. Lord of the Hammer. First in the award-winning fiction series by lauded historian Gerson Boom. I had a feeling. Is that Birdland? I hate that guy. It's an unlabeled book. You look inside. Oh, I accidentally returned my personal journal instead of my book. Oh no, they're put. Oh my gosh, is that Napstablook? Oh no. They're putting it into their catalog. Oh no, I have to take it out every time I want to write a new entry. Aw, poor Blukey. At least, at least it seemed like Napsabook. There's a book here. You look at the page. It's delicious. Oh, what? Like, who just takes a book and goes like, hmm, I wonder how this page would taste like. Mmm. <laughs> Unless it tells you to lick the page. This must be what they meant by flavor text. Alright, Birdly, what do you have to say for yourself, you idiot? Chris, you survived Susie. I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to Draw Dragons is 2,583 days overdue. <laughs> However, Chris, I have a benevolent volunteer assistant. If you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere $64.23. Consider it, Chris. Yeah, screw you. That talk to you? Chris, what's up? Caddy is working, so I'm starting on our project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture of a soccer ball, 73 times. You could say I'm having a ball. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh. Undine! No, oh, what happened to this guy? Oh no, not the donut guy! Hey, punk, get out of the road! You're blocking traffic! Oh, wait, it's just Asgore's kid. Asgore's my dad! Okay. Sorry, I'm a little, uh, worked up lately. This job is so boring, nothing ever happens in this town. Ugh, I just wish something could shake things up. Huh? You got something to report? Mmm, I don't think she'd believe me about the Dark World, yet I kinda... What? There's a dark world inside the school? Uh, sure, kid. There's no law against dark worlds anyway. That's a job for the school board. Help you. Aw, you wanna help me? Sure, punk. Get someone to rob the bank so I can suplex them. <laughs> Wait, do we even have a bank? Hey, get someone to build a bank. <laughs> Alphys? How's your relationship in this alternate universe? Alphys? Oh. Well, that's sad. Who's Alphys? No idea who you're talking about. Aw. So in this universe, Alphys doesn't know Undyne, and th that's kind of sad. Why? Did they do something illegal? <laughs> gotcha. If I see Alphys, I'll tackle them. <laughs> They're as good as dead. That's kind of sad. <laughs> Nothing. Don't do anything illegal, you little punk. And let me know if you get a lead on any purple girls. There is one wanted on several counts of comic mischief. <laughs> so what happened to Donut Guy here? <laughs> How am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck. I guess I should just run away. <laughs> what? <laughs> Police Chief Unman is supposed to be directing traffic. Uh, but all she's doing is standing in the middle of the road. <laughs> But all she's doing is standing in the middle of the street yelling, GET OUT OF MY WAY! She's the best, huh? I feel really directed. I love this. I just... <laughs> this is really amusing. 
Oh gosh, I feel like there's so much stuff to look at. This is great. It's one of those sliding bead toys that naturally spawns inside doctor's office. <laughs> I like playing with those things. As a kid, the beads march grimly along their set path. <laughs> uh, it's one. It's that one guy from Groby. Is it's up, but uh, pink. Oh, it's you. Are you here to play the piano again? The patients can't hear it well from here, but I personally enjoy it. Sometimes the police chief comes in to play the piano. Oh yeah, cause Undyne plays piano. Her playing is nice, but when she starts singing, we have to ask her to leave. <laughs> an obligatory hospital piano shrunk to fit the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it? Plink. Aw, oh, I was hoping to play his theme. <clears throat> oh! Her dad's in the hospital? Uh, Dad, I can't just say that to her. Oh my gosh, I'd die. I'd literally die. No, well, sweetheart, first time I laid eyes on your mother, I walked right up and told her she was a hot piece of work. Really? Yeah, she slapped me so hard I blacked out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Dad, that doesn't help at all. Anyhow, how's Dragon Blazers 3? Beat it yet? Nah, I'm still at the Ice Palace. I've been kind of... kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. No, well, maybe... maybe you shouldn't wait. Dad? You should bring it here! I bored as heck! <laughs> Fine, you win. I'll bring it next time. Oh, it's getting late. Guess I better go. I got, I've got homework. Oh, that's the group project voice. Bird guy again. What's his name? Nerdly? <laughs> it's, um, Birdly. He's not that bad. Dad? I'll kick his butt. Yeah, you do that. He's a freaking jerk. <laughs> Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. Bring him by at the window. I'll throw something at him. <laughs> Goodbye, Dad. <laughs> Bye, honey. Aw. Noelle. Oh, hi, Chris. Oh, bye. Okay. Oh, you're just here to use the sink, huh? Come on, Chris. Be a little friendlier. Oh, so you're just here to use the sink? Oh, wait. Hi. Noelle's dad. Well, jingle my gosh darn bells, looks like Christmas came early! Christmas, ha uh ha, -huh, okay, <laughs> took me a minute. Alright, Chris, just give me the straight shot. Why are you here? Did your mom make you come here? No. Really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. I'm proud of you. Wasn't too long, you were just... Wasn't too long ago, you were just the creepy kid next door. So I live next door to Noel. Okay, then. No, you either keep... Re <laughs> Now you're the creepy kid right in front of me. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, okay, seriously, you want to chat or something? Um... Illness? So, why am I in here? Oh, well, they found some crap, so it's just some tests. Yeah, it's no big deal. Nothing holiday can't handle. I'll be out of here in a jiff, and then I can go back to, I don't know, yelling at you for getting tangled in our light display. <laughs> the heck? Oh, I, I missed it. Oh well. Noelle! She's nice. She's a sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? Smart, kind, sweet. Couldn't ask for a better daughter. I just wish she wasn't so defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus, everything scares her. But she's a reindeer. <laughs> and when it happens, she freezes like a deer in headlights. That's understandable. Remember, she used to ever be afraid of humans under the bed. <laughs> Chris, it was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. <laughs> okay, Chris. Anyhow, that's what's tough about being in here, Chris. Not what's going on with me. Just that, in the meantime, I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye out for her, okay? Patient name, Rudolph Rudy Holiday. Hey, Chris, you forget my name or something? <laughs> uh, uh, sure. Hey, Chris, you want to chat or something? Don't worry, there's no way you can bore me right now. Family. Chris, even if we've grown apart, we still love your family. Yay! After all, me and Asgore were college pals, right? Okay, so that's how we know each other. Okay, now that Azrael's off to college... Yeah, I heard there was something about that in the beginning. You think he's doing any crazy parties like me and your dad? <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg. Your dad was no party animal. Your mother, on the other hand... 
Woo! <laughs> she always fussed about going, but once the party started... Yikes, man. Once she hit me clear across the room with a key lime pie. I got smashed into the snack table and toppled everything! Tasty pie, though. Couldn't complain. <laughs> Nothing. Then what the heck are you here for, Chris? To gawk? You thought this was a zoo or something? Come on. Oh, that guy's pretty nice. <laughs> it's a bunch of roses in a glass container. Hey, I'm happy your dad brought me flowers, but... Roses? What is this, man? Beauty and the Beast? <laughs> that ain't gonna work, man. We're both beasts. <laughs> it's a chair. Okay. Well, it was nice to meet you, Mr. Holiday. It's an angel doll. It's like a facial features is unsettling. That angel? Noelle and Des... Noelle and Des... I don't know who Des is. Made it in youth group. It's kind of like a good luck charm to me now. Oh, right. You and Azzy tried to make one, too. But you wasted the whole time making huge wings for it. <laughs> Reminds me of Azriel's God of Hyperdeath form or something. Whoa. You look kind of freaky. Who are you? This castle's white... This castle's white wizards... Relegated me to this healing chamber. But my blood is boiling for battle! I think you're not all there. It's a classic 1 to 10 pain scale using the icy as the model. At 0 pain, he's happy. At 10 pain, he's happy and sweating. <laughs> you look inside the cupboard. A very small obligatory piano is hiding inside. What's with the pianos? It's a regular sink. It's a clone of the other sink. Perhaps there was originally one tall sink that was cut in half to create both of them. Okay then. It's a diagram showing a bunch of lines in a circle. Okay. So that was the hospital. <laughs> oh, well, I'm gonna see what's up here. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. It sands. Wait a minute, this used to be Grillby's. And now it's just Sans. Well, let's see how Sans is in this universe. Hey, look who's walking around. Who are you, kid? <clears throat> how are you, kid? <laughs> Who the heck are you? Great to see Well, I feel like it wouldn't make any sense if I said great to see you again, because this isn't Frisk. But I don't want to be rude. Yeah, it's real nice, isn't it? Especially considering I've never met you before. <laughs> okay, I was about to say, yeah, if Sans knew who we were, this would be kind of freaky. The name's Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm new in town. Oh, he's new. Cool. Nice to meet you, Sans. What's up? Do you have any friends? We just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Why? Got anyone I should know better? Oh. <laughs> My mom! <laughs> Sorry all, all the way, people. Your mother, huh? Too late. What? I already befriended your mom, Les. Nut. Oh! <laughs> That, 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 that better be a joke, Sans, but if it's not, then... Woo. She's great. Kids is stored by Chocolate Kisses. I think he's just pulling our leg. Said she's gotta lock her door to stop you from eating him. <laughs> you sound like a fun kid, huh? Oh wait, I didn't mean to leave. Hey bud. Are you busy tomorrow? I need some help with something. It'd be great if you could come over. For what? I live just next door, you know. What, to me? Wow, you were deliberating for a while. Not really. Gee, what's wrong? Don't want to hang out with a stranger? Well, guess I shouldn't complain. Huh? What are we going to be doing? Oh, I'm not going to be there. That'd be weird. It's just going to be you and my little brother. Hey, Peppy! He needs friends. Aww. Thanks for hanging out with him. Oh, no problem. I love Pappy. See ya. Well, now I want to talk to you. What's up? What's with the store? Behind me? Yeah, that's the grocery store. Unfortunately, it's closed. What a pain. I really wanted to buy some milk. Because <laughs> Papyrus likes to drink milk. Someone ought to complain to the guy who runs it. 
<laughs> really funny. Okay, so what would what would happen if I said Alphys? Alphys, yeah, I know about her. Came into the store with a suitcase and sunglasses. What? Thought she was part of the mob. She opened the case and stuffed it full of instant noodles. <laughs> that sounds like her. Paid in small bills. Then slunk out of the place. Pajamas trailing on the floor. Anyway, our relationship is uh, purely business. So, um, I guess I'll just let her do her thing. <laughs> I'm gonna leave now. Oh, you've got something better to do? Me too. Anyway, I'll be standing here doing nothing. <laughs> huh. So that's Sans. And I'm guessing this is his house. I wanna see little Pappy. I wanna see I wanna see Papyrus. Knock knock knock. No response, but the distant trousel of bones. Oh Toby. Oh, I wanted to see Papyrus. Oh well. Wait a minute. Rats. Just <laughs> I guess it's only an Undertale that they have a little lab in the back of the house or whatever. <sighs> Well, I'm satisfied. I got to see Sans. My good- Oh my gosh, so many branching pathways. This is gonna take forever. I might actually have to stop soon, and I didn't realize how long this would be, so I may have to stop soon and record later. Knock, knock, knock. Ooh, are you the human that lives at the top of town? Wow, my mommy told me about you. Oh, is that the person in the little window up there? So cute. Wow, my mommy told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? <laughs> <laughs> that's interesting. Huh, that sounds like the knock of a beginner. Come back when you've gotten better at knocking. Okay. Master Kid, you look different. <laughs> Yo, Chris, you survived Susie. <laughs> I mean, I never saw her beat anyone up, but uh, I'd, I'd be careful. Like, one time me, Snowy, and Jockington were playing handball, and she just kept creepily watching us from the corner. Then, when the ball rolled over to her, she just, uh, froze solid. And kicked the ball as hard as she could right into Officer Undyne's car. Oh, that's why Undyne... <laughs> that's why Undyne's after her. Then Undyne came out, smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped us at handball. Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. <laughs> uh. Oh, you're lucky, Chris. You gotta miss class with Alphys. It's not fair! <laughs> if I skipped class, my dad never let me hear the end of it. <laughs> That's actually not even remotely funny. <laughs> I see, he's like a dad with a... <laughs> That's not funny. Knock, knock, knock. Oi, Snowy, what'd I tell you about knocking the door so hard? Don't do it. It's really gonna hurt your face. We don't have arms, you know. Well, you don't? It makes sense when Osaka doesn't have arms, but never mind, I don't even know. Oh my goodness, so many freaking places. Nothing down here? Well, let's see what's up here. Oh. Oh, this? Uh, oh, Chris, Chris, you okay? I, I, I was really worried when you didn't come back. Where did you go? Did you skip class? Well, don't worry about it. <clears throat> I'm the cool teacher, you know. You're not in trouble. Well, well, let me know if you need anything. Why are you in an alley? I... I really feel bad for Alphys in this alternate universe. Like, she's stuck with a job that's not good for social anxiety. And she doesn't know Undyne, and it's a dirty trash can. It's a trash can full of well-kept flowers. Uh, oh, Chris, did, did you want to talk about something? Okay, good, we can't talk about Undyne, because that would just make me even more sad. Flowers? Oh, oh these flowers? They're from your dad. He he always asks how you're doing in school, and then gives me a bouquet of them. Aw, sweet. Actually, that he that he always gives me flowers really makes me wonder if he, if he likes... If he likes the awesome comics I lent to him. <laughs> smooth, Alpha, smooth. Honestly, he kind of reminds me of a superhero, Chris. He's huge and could kick my butt. <laughs> um, chalk. Chris, even though you never got the chalk, you deserve an award for trying so hard to find it. 
So in return, I can let you borrow um, my homemade DVD collection of The Simpsons. <laughs> Sounds like The Simpsons. <laughs> you know the sitcom around about the middle class monster family. It's got every episode in all 28 seasons. Oh my, that's long. <clears throat> it's the funny, most quotable show ever. But make sure you don't watch past the second season since they just rebooted that since the, 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 they all started driving their own motor vehicles and fighting giant demon demons and stuff. The main problem about that is that it's kind of lost the focus on the family that it had earlier when the vehicles were shaped like animals and they were friends with the animal vehicles too. And let's not get into the Simpsons gals before it's where the Simpsons go into the earth and on the other side of the sun what the gravitational field. <laughs> How are they? I don't even know. You don't want to watch it? <laughs> That's okay, Chris. <laughs> okay. Saucer? Oh, the thing next to her? What is it? Oh, this saucer of milk. Yeah, it's for my kitty Mew Mew. Aww, she's a perfect angel. Uh, what does she look like? Well, I've never actually seen her, but ever since I started putting out milk, it's been disappearing. So I'd like to think that there's a cat. My, my cat. Um, what? Oh my gosh, I just want to cry for Alphys. I feel so bad for her. It's a saucer of milk. Aww. Also, I'm looking at the graffiti in the background. I see every man. I don't know what the other thing is, but... Oh well. Huh. So, does Alphys have a home, or does she kind of live in this alley or something? I don't know. I feel so bad for her. It's so sad. Okay, well, that's a dead end. Hey, ya, buddy. Please! You knocked on the door to the police station. Someone's coming up to the window. They just closed the blind. Okay. Police tape is blocking the way. The tape simply reads, yeah! Yeah, sounds like Gundyne. Oh, nice diner. You must be Caddy's mom or something. Or Caddy. You're alive. Nice. I'm working. <laughs> that's Caddy. I'm not sure if that's the same Caddy from the game and she just got a complete makeover or something. Uh, we'll take the special and do you have any edible glitter? Tch, the youngest one won't eat anything if it doesn't look like treasure. Heh, <laughs> dragon's treasure. <laughs> oh, it's a shopkeeper. Hi there, haven't seen you in a while, huh? I remember back on Sundays, every service. You and your family would come in and order the special. Of course, things happened, and then y'all stopped coming together. Oh, I, I'm probably as gorontorial divorce. But every Sunday, you and your brother still come in. He'd order you a hot chocolate, and you two'd sit down at the table in the corner, drawing shapes in the window with your breath. You must really miss him, huh? Here, how about this? Chris got the hot chocolate. On the house, hun. Oh, so this is normal, okay. Two dollars. Ball of junk, what's this? Ball of junk, a small ball of accumulated things. It smells like scratch and sniff marshmallow stickers. Okay. Whoa, dude. That is one sweet looking hat. Looking at my racket body, you must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. My secret is I put all my leftover pancakes in this giant hat. That's a smart move. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. So, people from Hotland. And stuff. So, for you two girls, that'll be the crepes, a cinnamon latte, two bunny parfaits, and a piece of firewood <laughs> for the fire girl. I like the vibe of the waitresses here. Maybe I should sign up, too. Nah, serving drinks wouldn't really suit a fire elemental. If I got nervous, I'd just melt all the ice. Yeah. What if I just served coffee? Nah, that sounds like a lawsuit waiting to happen. Hello, dude. Dude, remember when we used to skip the first hour class to come here? You were fine, but I almost had to repeat the year because of it. Two crepes were mad worth, though. Those crepes were mad worth, though. Delinquency is the best condiment. Ice Wolf. Ice Wolf does not like ice in drink. Ice Wolf likes ice. To be drink. Okay, then. Don't be a stranger now, alright, hun? This uniform's mandatory. Okay. You know, pinch sprinkles will work too. 
And how would you like that firewood done? Woo! I sh woo! I sure love pancake. <laughs> like in the game, I sure love puzzle. <laughs> Ice Wolf also like ice themed mascots, like Icy. Okay, I'm back. It's been about like half hour, hour later or whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna continue exploring. You look very creepy. Ice me up, ice me up, boss. I am the boss, after all. <laughs> I... Oh. I think I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. <laughs> um, hello. Would you be interested in trying some of our many 24 Pezzo flavors? We've got normal, cheese, ice, gravy... Double wise, pepperonis, pepperonis, and more. Stop on down to Icy's Pizza. Pizza. I'm concerned for this town. <laughs> Psst, can I tell you a mascot secret? I only started working here because the logo made me think it was an ice cream shop. But I ended up really loving my job and my coworkers too. <laughs> um, I think they're being brainwashed. Uh, what do you, you would, oh yeah, I think one of these guys is at the hospital. <laughs> um, uh, what about you? Oh gosh, somebody's actually here. Uh, uh, I see his pets. Uh, your number one spot for a piping hot piece of pets. Uh. Hey, hey, wait a second. I recognize you. Oh my gosh, it's Burger Pants. I was, wait, how does he recognize me? I wonder how he knows me. But I was, I was just wondering where Burger Pants was. Oh gosh, I bet he's wishing he was working for Metaton now. <laughs> Little buddy, it's me. Wanna chat for a minute before I lose my mind? Oh gosh, sure. <laughs> my goodness, this poor man. D do you know when Azzy's coming home? Y you can't tell him this, but I really miss the guy. I it'd be sweet to cruise around town like old times. Picking up, for example, chicks. <laughs> that face. <laughs> Which, as a matter of course, may not have ever actually happened. Oh, with the face- Oh my gosh! Oh, <laughs> one time Undyne made eye contact with me- Oh boy, you better stay away from that girl. While she was writing me a speeding ticket. That makes sense. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, 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 little buddy, what's up? Co-workers? Ah, yes, little buddy, good idea. Oh my goodness, and I thought his faces in Undertale were terrifying. This is, this is worse. Ah, yes, little buddy, good idea. Meet the rogues gallery. Blue ears, soft serve, obsessed. Soft serve, obsessed. No concept of personal space. Keeps accidentally pouring slushies on me and giggling. <laughs> the warrior, thankfully absent due to pizza-related injuries. Constantly terrorizing customers with war chants. That was probably the guy in the hospital. Oh, yes, it was the guy in the hospital. Purple guy. Man, that guy, you gotta... Actually, does that guy even work here? Ah, my coworkers. Where would I be without them? Did Toby Fox just make a Five Nights at Freddy's reference? Purple guy? Oh, wow. A happy place, little buddy. A much happier place. I'm starting to wonder if I feel worse for the burger pants in, in Undertale? Or in this game. I'm concerned. Job. Make no mistake, little buddy. Icy pizza is hell. I can't slack off for seconds without hearing be a team player. There's no I in Pizza. Yes, there is. You just took it out. But it's okay, little buddy. I've been saving up to, to go to college where Azzy is. Then I'll get a theater degree, become a famous actor. He still wants to be an actor. Good for him. And let the fangirls roll in, little buddy. It's fine, little buddy. You don't have to watch me suffer. Just enjoy your freedom while it lasts. My goodness, this poor man. Toby Fox just won't stop torturing him. Do I want to go inside this place? I'm honestly... My goodness, these people won't shut up. I'm honestly scared. Here at Icy's Pizza, your family is going to love it. Ha ha ha. 
I see is pizza. Your number one spot for a piping hot pizza, 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 whatever. Oh, well, it was nice to see Burger Pants. I was wondering where he was going to be. The entrance is locked. No one's inside. Oh, thank goodness. Seems like all the employees are outside in costume. Okay, well, thank goodness. Not I didn't want to go in there anyway. I'm like, my gosh, that's freaky. That's down here. Okay, that's on nine. I don't think I went down here, because... Okay. Nice little church. Nice little lady. Who are you? Chris, what a pleasant surprise to see you here. And on a school day. There must be a reason that you came here at such a time. I, Father El- Oh, it's a, it's a man. I, th I thought it was a woman. I am so sorry for giving you my old grandma voice. I, Father Elvin, implore you. If you have anything weighing on your mind, please speak. Fruit- What? Fruit juice is weighing on my mind, Father. Chris, if you want some of our sick fruit juice, you should come to our service. Our choir sounds a bit thinner since your brother went away. Chris, it would be wonderful if you would sing with us, or even participate to any extent, instead of just trying to drink the fruit juice. <laughs> That's funny. Nothing. I understand. I hope in time you may find the words you seek. Let the angel's power light your way. <laughs> I find it so funny I accidentally gave my grandma voice. Uh, what's the town hall? Hey, it's that one bear who kept saying, like, this town doesn't have a mayor. Or whatever. At near Girlby. Yeah, near Girlby's. The mayor's charisma is about zero. No, it's negative. But she works hard and has a good track record, so she runs unopposed. That's politics. Rarely. <laughs> Not only does she act icy, she always keeps her office's AC on full blast. That chill, I feel, is... Is what is this what politics feels like? It's a hand. Or maybe it's a different hand, but there's a hand like that at NTT Resort. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the mayor is busy right now. Oh, you're not the mayor, okay. Who is the mayor then, I wonder? Huh. If you need to see her, please try causing some terrible crisis. Oh, uh, something about complaining about your teacher? If you don't like her, please blame your mother for getting her hired. <laughs> uh, let's say. Hey, short stuff, why would you possibly need to talk to the mayor? Your allowance too low? Ate too much candies? Lost your frisbee in the wash? Hey, short stuff. That's what the cops are for. <laughs> oh man, I wanna, I wanna know who the mayor is, though. It's a chair. Maybe it's in the politics. It's a small pine tree. What about this? It's a painting of the town. It's a nice little town, I like it. Wish there, I wish there was something like this in Undertale, but... You know, this is good enough. There's something- oh, there's something down there, and there's something over here. I saw this first, so... Oh, I saw gate it's open. A uh, cemetery. Huh. Hmm. Hope a doggy didn't die. Gerson, renowned historian, author, and teacher. Oh no, he's dead! Crystal, a snowy- Oh, Snowy's mom! Oh, cause the, the amalgamates are, don't exist in this, I'm guessing. A, a snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Aww. Mutler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. Aw, wonder who that was. Shira, Shiren's sister! A karaoke microphone for a brave singer. Aw, this makes me so sad. Gerson Boom Memorial Bench. Thorough my career, throughout, <laughs> throughout my career, some of my best ideas came from dreams. Take a rest here if anyone asks. You're writing. Aww. This makes me sad. But it's just also so interesting. To have this alternate universe. The music stopped? I don't like that. What is down here? I thought I was just gonna keep going and... Going. I wonder if a hobbit lives here. <laughs> just kidding, I know like hardly anything about Lord of the Rings, but this just reminds me of it for some reason. It's locked. Will we ever know what's inside? Because that must be there for a reason. Huh. I don't know. So who are you? Are you like Caddy's mom or something? Lil Chrissy! Like, what's up? Give, 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 give it, Caddy a hug. 
So are you the cat? Oh, so then you must be the caddy from the Undertale, because... I don't know, you talk just like her. <laughs> Give a candy a hug. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> I'm not even actually your aunt. Um, that makes this kind of awkward then. Oh my gosh, can I talk to you about something? Actually, like anything though, your choice. As real. Oh my gosh, as real. Like, what a cutie pie. Do you remember when me and him went to the dance? That was like the best night ever. Even though I spilled the entire push ball over him and danced inappropriately in front of your mom. This girl is fun. And got arrested in the parking lot for making a scene. <laughs> that was so much fun. Tell him I said hi. Well, I would have loved to have been there that night. Lil Chrissy, did you want to talk about something? Sister. Oh, is, does you? Oh, I'm guessing her sister goes to my school. Uh, that kind of question. Why are you both named Caddy? <laughs> Ooh, how's Caddy doing? I have no idea. We, like, totally can't connect at all. Yesterday, I asked if she wanted to hear me play the ukulele. She said no, and then she, like, told me my playing is an anti-blessing from Planet Hell. <laughs> oh my goodness. What the heck, Chris A? That's so cute. I love my fricked up little sis. <laughs> oh, that's good that you love your sister. Neighbors. Like that green girl next door? You mean bratty? Oh gosh, are the, do they like hate each other in this universe? That would be interesting. Oh my gosh, Chrissy, she's like my life. What did I just say? What did I just say? Oh my gosh, they were like super best friends in Undertale. This is so weird. She's like my life villain. Like, the other day I went to see Cat Petters 2, and the only other person in the theater was her. And then I went to QC's and ordered a Cat Pacino, and she, like, was already drinking one. She's such a copycat. Uh, cop. Can the door shut? This is what I deal with at college people creaking doors and screaming people. Copy Gator, Copy Saurus, Copodile. I don't know, she sucks. Okay, nothing. Oh, you gotta go? Do you have, like, homework? You should, like, let me help. <laughs> JK, I totally don't want to. Laters. So who is this guy? Hey, neighbor baby. When's your brother Doug gonna come by? <laughs> you mean Asriel? My girls love to see him. He's a sweet little man. He's just got one problem. He doesn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Douglas? You don't like frozen cat food? <laughs> what? Wait, is Caddy married? Huh. Well, then again, I don't know if, if Metaton exists in this universe. And even if he did, she obviously doesn't have a crush on him. Can't blame your brother for leaving town. He's out there getting a big brain in the big school. Hope when he becomes a big shot, he remembers us little guys down the street. Eating oranges and getting our stomachs pumped. Have fun with that. It's a broken grill. It smells like burnt cat food. Previous cat themed junk is piled up inside the house. It seems to be a bit of a cat's die. Uh, instead of a pig's die, huh? Speaking of junk, I really want to know what this does. You looked at the junk ball and had admiration. Nothing happened. Is that all it does? I want to call... I think... Oh yeah, sandstone. By the way, I have... By the way, I apologize. I like... I talked to Sans, and then I realized that, uh... I said something that... That I didn't know I missed. And so then I got a whole line of dialogue, but... <laughs> I, uh... Didn't get that on camera. So... Because I kind of did it off camera when I was just like exploring around. And, uh, and, uh, now every time I do it, it says, Hey, I give you a number. What more do you want? So, I apparently have Sans's number now. I'm right in front of him. Hello? Is this Sans or no? I'm just, hello? You have reached... Sans. You punk. 
You have reached the hotline for idiot babies. Please press 1 for idiots, 2 for babies, and 3 for idiot babies, and 4 for none. I'm curious. Ah, you're an idiot? To tell you the truth, I'm one too. Let's try our best, okay? Click. Not Sans's number. Oh my gosh, Sans. The phone kept ringing infinitely. Oh, I called home. Chris, honey, what is it? What? No, I'm not giving you a ride home. Our house is not far, it's just at the top of town. Try walking, it builds character, honey. <laughs> Chris, I am grading papers. I can talk to you when you get back, alright? Our house is only at the top of town, you know? I guess that's like if you forget where the house is. Chris? Okay, I didn't know. I could just keep bothering her. Okay. I wanted to, wanted to do the other choices. But, uh... Okay. Yeah, whatever. Okay, time to talk to Caddy. There's some kind of scratching noise coming from inside. That's kind of creepy. Chrissy, like long time no see. What's up? Did you want to talk about something? Go away. What? Neighbor. Ugh, that chick next door drives me nuts. I keep seeing her everywhere I go. She's a total copycat. Like, why though? Doesn't she feel like she'll never be me? Honestly, her whole family is like so trashy. Once her sister served me a copy and I swear it was like half cat fur. Like, get a hairnet girl for like your whole body. <laughs> um, memories? Remember the time you want- oh, like, memories with- my family or something. Remember the time you wanted to hang out with the, us big kids? I was like, yeah, of course, just just get us some burgers. And then, like, amazingly, you actually got them. So I told you to go back and get some french fries, too. And then a dozen miniature cakes. <laughs> and they were so good, I ate, like, six. And then I, like, suddenly got so sick I had to go home. Man. So, like, anyway, Chris, are you busy? <laughs> Not getting you any more food. Why is this an option? Aw, that's no way to talk to your almost sister in law. Whoa there. <laughs> nah, I'm joking, but like, remember that time I played Truth or Dare with Azzy? I like made him give it I like made him give me his first kiss. And then your mom found out and he, he <laughs> then your mom found out he kissed someone and like I think she basically dialed 911. <laughs> I swear your family went to church like every single day that week. <laughs> Oh dear. Aw, Chrissy, you just wanted to say hi. That's adorable. Now get out of here. Okay, jerk. My goodness. <gasps> it's Naps the Blue's house. Aw. Knock, knock, knock. Oh, I'm afraid no one's home right now. Ah, uh, I'm afraid no one's home right now, darling. Now, why don't you prance on home? Well, it's official. Metaton's in this universe. Whether he's Metaton or Haps the Blue. That just... That just made me feel really happy inside, just now. Because that makes me think that it's either Metaton or Haps the Blue, but they live with Naps the Blue, and that just makes me so happy. He's not lonely anymore. Yay! Flower King. <gasps> it's my daddy's shop. It's your dad's truck. The floor of the front seat is littered with old papers and country CDs. Hmm. Yay, it's my daddy! Yes, dum de dum. Oh, is someone there? Oh, deja vu much? <clears throat> Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. This is... Oh, yay! Here we are. In a flower shop? That's so freaking cool. Howdy, how can I... Oh, wow, it's so weird seeing him without his crown. <gasps> oh, Chris. <laughs> this is so sweet. Oh my gosh, my heart is gonna burst. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot if you don't like hugs. I forgot if you don't like hugs like that. Well, from you, I'd love them. Well, now make yourself at home, Chris. You can help yourself to anything you like. Yay! So yeah, I'm guessing that the that uh, P and Toriel are divorced and stuff. But not let me say anything about these. Okay. It's cash register. There's not much change inside. I thought it was gonna give me the option to steal. <laughs> that would've been funny. It's a flower. It's some kind of catalog. There's a car magazine underneath. Flowers. Anything? 
Say, Chris, I was thinking. Why was he walking in place? <laughs> Say, Chris, I was thinking. Perhaps <laughs> he talks with his feet, apparently. <laughs> Perhaps when Azriel comes home, we could all go to the diner, just like old times. My treat. Yay. Doesn't that sound yummy? Yeah. Then we could all have a nice drive around town. I might need to clean out my truck, but... Mm -hmm. I'd love that. There are various flowers inside. What's upstairs? Oh, does he live in a shop? Oh my gosh. It's like the six human souls. Oh my gosh. Uh, what's behind this door? It's a door is locked. Oh, okay. It's a dirty watering can. Various bags of soil. It's a note. It says, no rent received. Again, stop giving away flowers and start selling them. Aw. You have one month. See. Whatever that is. There is some dirty fur stuck in the drain. It's a rusty fridge with some photos on it. Oh, Chris, if you're hungry, help yourself to anything you want. Well, I mean, healing items won't really do anything for me here, because... Well, all my healing items that I had back in the Dark World or whatever, I don't have anymore, because it's all different. But... All that's inside is a jar with a single pickle in it. You decide to pass. The photos. A photo of your mother and father on their wedding day. Aww. She's holding a bouquet of seven flowers. Did... Ascor? Are you being a creeper and are you keeping those flowers, all those flowers from the bouquet? Well, I wouldn't say he's being a creeper, but it just seems interesting, I guess. A reindeer-looking monster stands by near nearby in a tuxedo. That one guy, that Mr. Holiday dude. They all look happy. Aww. It's kind of sad that he has to live in his shop and it's run down and stuff. Small TV on top of some superhero comics. <laughs> Was there anything else? Don't. No. You decide not to look. It's an air mattress. Aw, oh, it's certainly not king size. Chris, do you want to sleep over? <laughs> That'd be fun. You could use that air mattress and I could... I uh, use those bags of soil. Perhaps not. Oh. Yes, these flowers are still kicking. Quite hard to take care of them in this climate. That's interesting. Well, I'm really glad I got to see my daddy. Hmm? Oh, Chris, before you go... Another hug? Here, for your mother. Our secret. You got the bouquet of flowers. Uh, oh, just, just a nice bouquet of flowers for her. Aw. Have a great day, Chris. Yay! Say, Chris, I was thinking, perhaps when Azrael- Oh yeah, we already saw that? Okay. Yay! That makes me happy. Like, I was getting a little sad before with all with other things, but this is making me happy. Oh hey, it's RG01 and o RG01 and RG02. The bunny guy and the dragon guy. Nothing better than hanging at the lake with my best bro. Watching the waves go by. True. They seem happy together, that's good. It's a metal picnic table. Cigarette butts lay on the ground underneath it. Stick your finger into the holes in the table. Okay. Your fingers don't fit through the top anymore. You try from below. Your hand became covered in cobwebs. Ew. Is it the same? Yeah. What's this? Just a random hole or whatever? Hmm. Oh, that's what they were watching the waves go by. Well, you're kind of facing the wrong direction, buddy. You're kind of looking at trees and going like, Whoa, a bunch of waves going by. You do you. My goodness, this is amazing. Like, I could just stay here for hours and just look at everything. I'm telling you, they're not home right now. Oh, you just wanted to talk to me? My apologies, beautiful. I'm afraid I'm a bit of a nobody. It's Hapsablug, isn't it? Well, the, oh my gosh, it is Hapsablug. It makes perfect sense because Alphys was never a scientist, I guess. Oh. Poor Hapsablug. You can't tell me that's it, though. I keep feeling like there's more. There has to be more. <laughs> These poor people. <laughs> I feel so bad. Uh, I'm 
going to feel so terrible if I missed anything, though. But I genuinely feel like I got everything. So, it's your mom's van. Yay! Anything? Okay. Guess I'm going home. Welcome home, honey. Did you have fun with your friend today? By the way, I just finished baking a pie. If you go to bed, it will be cool when you wake. But do not eat it all this time, alright? Oh, but do not eat it all this time, okay? Book of hymns. The TV. Oh, now I can go into that one room that I missed before. I've never gone in here yet. You looked inside the sink cupboard. There's a can of Icy's Cool Boys Body Spray. Spray for the boys. Uh, flame and hot pizza flavor. It seems to be almost entirely full. Well, yeah, who the heck would want to use that? Like, what the heck? It's a toilet. Flush it. <laughs> no! It's good to conserve water. But what? Er, I'll flush it. <laughs> Congratulations! You flushed the toilet! On the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple scented shampoo. Ooh, nice! And a gallon sized container of pet shampoo. <laughs> Probably for Toriel. <sighs> nice little bathroom. Pie! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. It's still cooling. Mm -hmm. And then I already looked at all this stuff. Mommy! Chris, what is it, honey? Mm, flowers. Oh, Chris, flowers for your mother? How sweet. These... Oh. These are from him, are they not? Uh, well, worry not, Chris. I will find some place for them. I can see she has no different feelings for him in this universe. That's kind of disappointing. Chris, what is a honey? Pie. Chris, since only you and I are living here right now, it feels just a bit lonely, does it not? Well, how about how about Asgor come here and he can have Azzy's bed? Yeah, and that way it's like a sleepover every night. <laughs> <laughs> but fortunately, sharing a warm, freshly made pie is the perfect cure for such a condition. As long as I get to eat some, of course. Asriel, I'll save me for last. Remember that video game you and Asriel used to play? What was it called? Super Smashing Fighters? <laughs> Instead of like Super Smash Bros. Melee or whatever. When he was very little, he loved the green lizard from that. We even had a birthday party for him themed around it. Your father painted all the eggs with spots as decorations. Probably talking about Yoshi or something. Oh, your brother loved it. Until the next day your father cooked them all for breakfast. <laughs> the eggs. <laughs> your brother just kept crying ever since he's hated that book about eating green eggs. <laughs> green eggs and ham. Oh my goodness. Me. Chris, honey, you have grown up so much. Someday soon you will be going off to the university as well. Remember when you were little, you asked when your horns were going to grow in? Aw. So we bought that headband with the little red horns on it? Oh. Oh, you wore it for months. Whatever happened to it? Well, people probably started thinking I was a devil, so I stopped wearing it. <laughs> okay, I didn't know if she was going to say anything else. Never mind. Chris, perhaps you should go to bed early tonight. You do not look quite yourself. What do you mean? Okay. I maybe I'm just tired, I don't know. I okay. Is this room still locked? It's only you. Hmm. I feel like there's so many more that I should explore, but I that's all I can do for now, so I guess I'm gonna It's a beautiful day outside. Yep, so <laughs> it's funny when I first looked at this I thought it was this was all frisk stuff or something, but no. So yeah, this is a pretty different universe. Frisk isn't here, it said it's Chris and all the monsters are on the surface and stuff. In fact, I'm starting to wonder if there was even a war in the first place. Huh. I don't know, so many questions. Rusty bird cage. It's a red wagon with a rusty bird cage. Huh. I'm really curious about that one place, though, where that 
with that hill and the door and I don't know I mean well I know I can't do every single little thing in this game so I don't know that'll be for a different time off camera so can I go to bed if you go to bed this chapter of your adventures will end will you go to bed well I honestly feel like I can't really do anything else so and besides this episode's getting pretty long so I'll go to bed you said to go to bed. So is that the end then? Or is there going to be like a little ending segment? Or Nighttime. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. What you... What you doing? Um... What is going on? What are you... Oh my god! What the?! Um, Chris? Um, what the? What? I appreciate the the nice song, but Don't forget what happened? With you in the dark. Um, to be continued in chapter two. Okay, so that was chapter one. Um, what? J what was oh my gosh that was freaky just ripped their soul out of the body threw it in a bird cage and then had a knife had a red eyes and a creepy smile that reminded me of Chara wonder if Chara has anything to do with that I have no idea but oh my gosh that was okay I think I think I'm over it now but I was like in pure shock. I was frozen. Oh my goodness. Um, well, that was Delta Rune. That was, that was, oh my gosh. That was, whoa. I'm probably talking too loud. Um, well, that was, uh, so many, so many questions, but I, I don't know. I guess that's the, end of chapter one makes me wonder what the heck chapter two is gonna be um well that was that was definitely fun though that game that was amazing that it was it was certainly a fun ride now i finally know the ending so i don't have to worry about spoilers anymore so now i can watch other people play yay and i'll play through the game again myself and fight enemies and see if anything's different. I mean, I know the ending will be the same, but whew, that was that was chilling. Really. It really makes me eager to see more and yeah, <laughs> I like the idea that Toby Fox kind of 
has his own little Undertale AU <laughs> of Deltarune. Either that or he made Deltarune first and then Undertale came from that, but I don't know all the details concerning that. But anyway, yeah, that's the end of Deltarune. I'm not really going to record any more concerning it until like chapter two comes about or anything. So yeah, that's the end of that for now. So I... Well, on the bright side, I can start posting more Delta Rune re remixes now. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll get to doing that and I'll see you guys some other time. So, bye.